The Philippines is a tropical paradise in the Pacific Ocean, made up of more than 7,000 islands that offer a natural playground for your inner explorer. Collectively, its landscapes feature an array of natural wonders, from volcanoes and rice terraces to underwater rivers and limestone caves, along with beautiful beaches. In this video we show you 10 most beautiful places to visit in Philippines. Don't forget to subscribe and hit the like button. Number 10, Sargao Island. Travelers that enjoy making an itinerary up as they go should put Sargao Island on the agenda. The small island is big with experiences, from sought after surfing waves to unusual rock formations and stunning waterfalls. Surfing is what Sargao is most known for. The famous Cloud 9 break is here, but there are many coastline spots that bring in large waves. So, even if you do not surf, watching some of the championship surfers that come to the island is a fun activity. Deep sea fishing is popular out of Sargao as anglers try year-round for sailfish and mahi-mahi. Number 9, Zamboanga. Spanish-era forts, old churches and mosques, spacious parks, heritage buildings, historic plazas, waterfalls, white sandy beaches and islands, living tradition centers, and local markets are just some of the many fascinating places to see in and around Zamboanga City. Don't forget to visit the Great Santa Cruz Island, which is a small inhabited island in Zamboanga City in the southern region of the Philippines, that is famous for its pink coral and sand. The island, located 4 kilometers south of downtown at the Santa Cruz Bank in the Basilan Strait, boasts one of the pink sand beaches in the Philippines. Number 8, Carmone Islands. The Carmone National Park is a 347 hectare national park and protected area in Camarina Sur. Philippines. It was established in 1938. The park has caves, limestone formations, white sandy beaches, an islet lake and a subterranean river, make it popular with tourists. Caramon Islands is also renowned for its enchanting flora and fauna, as it is well endowed with a 4,000 hectare limestone forest. Together with peaceful waters, tantalizing caves, hidden coves, and a diverse marine life, Caramon Islands is truly a paradise that you must explore. Number 7, Palawan. Palawan is the largest island in the Palawan province, in the western Philippines. The capital, Puerto Princesa, is known for the biodiverse Puerto Princesa Subterranean River National Park, where boats run along an underground river through vast caves. Off the east coast, Honda Bay's islands are dotted with resorts. Farther out in the Sulu Sea, Tabataha Reefs Natural Park has reefs teeming with marine life. Palawan is commonly associated with pristine natural resources. It has crystal blue waters, world-class diving spots, amazing limestone formations, and is home to a wide range of attractions admired by both local and international tourists. For many, it is the dream destination of every beach lover. Number 6, El Nido, Palawan. One of the most beautiful places in Palawan is the El Nido. El Nido is a stunning place to visit in the Philippines for its clear water lagoons, marine life, coral reefs, and limestone cliffs. You can even take part in cliff climbing excursions, or go to Taraw Peak to experience a canopy walk with the best views of the landscape. El Nido is also known for its pristine beaches, like Naspan Beach and Leo Beach, and as the launch point for island hopping adventures. Island hopping excursions to places like El Nido Big Lagoon or Snake Island to experience the cliffs and caves from the water are a memorable way to experience El Nido.
Number 5, Bohol, Chocolate Hills. The geological wonder on the island of Bohol known as the Chocolate Hills is a unique natural phenomenon. This UNESCO World Heritage Site is a protected area that features more than 1,200 small mountains that emerged above the ground over several centuries. The area was once under the ocean, and these unique hills expand in every direction. They are green during much of the year, but during the dry season, they turn to a chocolate brown color, thus the name, Chocolate Hills. Number 4, Tall Volcano, Talisai. The Tall Volcano on the island of Luzon is one of the most active in the country. It is in the center of Tall Lake, so just getting to the crater is part of the adventure. The city of Talisai, where you will catch a boat to get to the crater, is less than an hour's drive from Manila. You will catch a boat to go across Tall Lake then hike to the rim of the crater. There are a number of trails around the volcano. The Spanish trail goes to the top of the volcano and has some of the most impressive views. The less popular Kenny Trail is a good option if you want to avoid potential crowds or if you think you might want to rest along the way. Number 3, Ifugao Rice Terrace. The Bonaway Rice Terraces are terraces that were carved into the mountains of Bonaway, Ifugao, in the Philippines, by the ancestors of the Igorot people. The terraces are occasionally called the eighth wonder of the world. It is commonly thought that the terraces were built with minimal equipment, largely by hand. The Ifugao Rice Terraces are the priceless contribution of Philippine ancestors to humanity. Built 2,000 years ago and passed on from generation to generation, the Ifugao Rice Terraces represent an enduring illustration of an ancient civilization that surpassed various challenges and setbacks posed by modernization. Number 2, Cebu Island. The island of Cebu, in the central Visayas region, is considered the port to some of the best diving and snorkeling in the Philippines. If you are an underwater enthusiast, Cebu is one of your best options for excursions that get you up close to whale sharks, coral reefs, and sea turtles. Some of the most spectacular scenery from the water near Cebu are the sea caves that attract photographers and outdoor enthusiasts looking for unique diving and snorkeling sites. The Sudlon National Park, located approximately an hour from Cebu City, is a breathtaking park to explore and hike. While Cebu's greatest draw is its water, Cebu City is a metropolitan area, with tourist attractions like museums and cathedrals that will interest history buffs. Number 1. Boracay There is a reason that Boracay Island is considered the beach capital of the Philippines because there are more than 12 beaches. This tiny island in the West Visayas region is ideal for beachgoers who are after simple relaxation in the sun or water activities. White Beach, on the west side of the island, is one of the best beaches in the Philippines. Bukashel Beach is on the tip of the island and is a favorite spot for shell collectors. Kagban Beach is a quiet spot with nearby caves that are rumored to still contain treasure chests. Dinawig Beach is a tiny beach at the north end of White Beach that has the best view of the island from a platform rock located there. Thanks for watching, subscribe our channel to see the beauty of the world.